Welcome back, subscribers, friends, family, co-workers, neighbors, <laughs> high school buddies. I uh, wanted to do another Dutch for today. And I'm going to have to take a day and just do some varnishings. I've got a ton to varnish. I always use a level. Make sure my canvases are level. Um, this one is not gallery wrapped. It's just stapled on the edges. Um, I'm going to pick out some colors. I believe on a white base this time. And I'm going to use the Artist Loft Ready Pour, uh, Level 1 Ready Pour Titanium White. That is going to be my base. Well, you know what? This is a black canvas. I think I'm going to do a black base because I want to do black and purple anyway. So I'll do the purple, but I'm not sure what to... I think I'm going to use um, Violet. Because this is, well, you know what? I'll use the metallic purple. I'll use the Artist Loft metallic purple. And we'll see if any um, anything happens, like any cells or anything. And I'll go ahead and use black instead of the titanium white. Since I forgot I was using a black canvas. And I'm going to use some fluorescent, or I guess neon orange, Artist Loft loft and I think I think I'm going to use not the bright blue but the phthalo blue maybe yeah I use the this is purple orange you know what I'm gonna stick with this we're gonna use this this deep yellow I haven't used it much I'm going to see if this turns out good or ugly. <laughs> so, Ready Pour. Um, Artist Loft Ready Pour. Deep Yellow. Which to me, it looks more like an orange than a yellow. But Here's the regular uh, bright yellow. You can see the difference. So I'm going to try this. I haven't used it much. So let's, let's give that a whirl. We'll use the deep yellow, the purple, and the uh, neon orange. I think these two would look good. We're going to see. And on a black base. So all good. I think the next one I'll do, I'm going to have to, I've got a lot of black canvases and white. I think the next one I will do will be on a white canvas maybe. So let's flood our canvas. Try not to use too much. All right, we'll get this spread out. Then we'll um, I use that little blow dryer. I've been using that all the time because I just it's newer i'm starting to get used to it the more i use it actually the more i like it okay. yep there's something right there get some tweezers people i don't know what that is and why would it come out of a why would that come out of a ready pour i, mean, I haven't used them in a while but still wouldn't think it come out of a ready pour all right. Just a little bit of therapy for me today. The sun's out in Ohio. And it's cool. I think the high today is like 60 or something like that. My husband said it's supposed to get up to 70, I think, this week. Thursday or Friday, maybe. I want to go for a little hike, but 
I wanted to try something new and different. Some different colors I hadn't used together. And the last two Dutch pours have been so nice that actually I think, oh, I'm going to do another one. <laughs> I promise you the next video will not be a Dutch pour. <laughs> I wanted to actually do some uh, swipes with, uh, I want to use some of the new Amsterdam colors that I'd made up, some pink and stuff. I wanted to use some of those with my Australian flow trawl. So that will be what I do next. All right, did this slide out of your view? Make sure oh, you can see it. All right, get started. always like to wipe most of this off because that way when you're done with the painting it's not so hard to get off there okay now I think I'll start with the purple and I think we'll do uh, we'll do a straight line or a zigzag or should I do across that way maybe I'll just do it that way all right, Metallic Purple by Artist Loft. My husband also asked me to do a comb through. I haven't done one since last summer, I think. And he really likes them. I'm like, I'll try to do one of those, maybe. Or you line the colors up and you take some tools and take a comb and uh, comb through the colors and really creates a really cool looking picture or I should say painting all right now we'll do the neon orange here we go I don't know if I like the uh, purple one the that's stuck I like if I, I don't know if I like that deep yellow like it all <laughs> I like it you guys let's see what we get here should I put maybe some real yellow whoa should I put maybe some real yellow on that like some some of that uh, bright yellow maybe this color here maybe I'll try just a tad of this Maybe it'll make this other yellow pop a little bit. Yeah, let's try that. I haven't used this in a while. All right, let's do that. All right, we'll pop some bubbles. And then... black all over my glove. All right. All right. Oh. And I will be using the same little blow dryer I've been using on these. Flower by Drew Barrymore. Um I'm going to blow it different ways, maybe. Almost looks like it's Halloweenish. See the black and orange. All right, here we go.
I think I'm gonna put it on high. That does, that looks like Halloween. Halloween colors, purple, black, and orange. Love it. I think we're going to put a little more right here. Just the teeny bit. I promise I won't destroy it. A little bit of purple. This color, well, I guess you can see it a little bit through there. Say so it seemed like it didn't. Go up that much. Yellow. We'll fix this one up. Promise ya. Then some neon orange. Because there isn't hardly any in there. Alright. Let's see what we get, people. Cross your fingers. Wow. I'm not going to touch it anymore. I like it just the way it is. I even like this right here. I do. I like that. I like it just the way it is. It seems like on these, if you do more, it looks worse than if you just leave it alone. So I have learned to do that. So there you have it. I guess Halloween. Fall colors, the purple, the orange, the black. I think the orange and the black and this deep yellow is what looks makes it really look like it's for Halloween. I'm hanging out on my porch. It looks really cool. I'm happy with it. I am very happy with that. So I think what I'm going to do is stop, scrape the sides. Then I'll bring you guys down in for a look. These videos are getting shorter and shorter, huh? <laughs> when you use ready, pour, and everything's ready to go, your blow dryer's hanging there, ready to go, everything's ready, it just makes it a lot quicker. So you won't have time to get some chips or an adult beverage. You'll have to just watch on the run. Yeah, I like this, how the black blended in, too. I just really like that. And I'll bring you down for what we call a wet reveal. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it just the way it is. Yep. Looks good. Actually, there's a bubble right there. And I think one right there. Oh, no, that's not a bubble. That is something. Oh, another something in my paint. Stuff like that can ruin your paint, your painting, because when it dries, it will be like a lump. So, wow, I don't know what that is, but I'm glad I saw it. You know, pop some bubbles. Bring you guys down for a good look. I don't know why. Oh, because I shook those paints. That's why. Very good. All right, I'll bring you down for a looky. Don't touch any buttons. <laughs> All right, here we go. Looks already starting to dry on the edges. Look at that. Pretty. Doesn't it look yummy? <laughs> well, I use the purple and the black with a little bit of yellows, two different yellows, and the neon orange. And now I will pop this light off. Ah, there you can really see it nice. 
my shadow is not too bad on it, huh? Wonder why that is casting a shadow. There. Ah, there you go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That looks so cool. Well, I did it in under 30 minutes again, in 15 minutes of that time, people. Thank you for joining me. Um, hope you're having a good day. I want to thank you again for all of your kind words and all my subscribers. I promise the Dutch, it won't be a Dutch pour next time. I will do something different. So be safe and God bless you.